So the UV, I did the UV radiation treatment when I was super sick. And, and so what was happening was like, the, the, they obviously took the blood out and then it went to the machine and all, but uh, what exactly is it doing in the blood? So mm -hmm. the ultraviolet blood treatment has been around since uh, the 1920s. Russia started, then America got a hold of it, and Time Magazine put it in as the new antibiotic um, back in the 1940s. And uh, it was supposed to be, but within I think a year or two, um, big time antibiotics came from pharmaceuticals, and of course it got got kind of shut down. But now we're seeing a resurgence in it because of uh, antibiotic resistance and other problems. And what it does, we take the blood out, put it through ultraviolet light, and it actually kills some of the, the particles. Say it's a viral infection, bacterial, it kills it. When it goes back into your body, your immune system can fight that better, develop antibodies, and actually kill the infection. So your immune system's enhanced. Now, in the same token that we see it affect the, uh, the illness, it can actually enhance the immune system in a way to actually regrow our tissue. So, so for the, the viruses and the, the bacteria, how does it know to kill the virus and the bacteria and not your own healthy immune cells, T cells? And so that's a good point. It, it does kill those cells too through the UV light, but we only take two ounces of blood. Mm -hmm. So it's only a small portion of your blood. And so that way when it goes back in, it can attack the dead particles and boost the immune system that's already in your blood. So it's not boosting it what's going through the UV light, it's actually boosting what's already in your blood. Experience natural healing without surgery at the Osteopathic Center.